Good morning and welcome to another MakeMoreNoise.org screencast. In this screencast I'm going to show you how to sample replace drums. Um, you don't actually have to replace them wholeheartedly, you can also just use this technique to augment the drum sounds you've already got. In an earlier screencast uh, I showed you how to go through and strip silence a drum part on the kick drums from this session. So if you're wondering how we got to here where all you can see is little regions which are the kicks, go back and watch that screencast as well. So let's show you where we are to start with. As you can hear on our kick drum track, all we've got now is the kick hits and none of the noise that would have been between them previously. Now what's going to seem really odd after we spent all the time making these into nice neat individual hits is the first thing we're going to do is glue them all back together using the glue tool. So select the glue tool, elastic band all your individual regions and then create. As you can hear, we've now just got kick hits with none of the noise that was previously in between them. The next function we're going to use in Logic is under the factory settings and it's audio to score. So we select audio to score and we come up here with some settings that we can adjust. So uh, preset drums, okay that makes sense in this particular example. It's a mid tempo. Let's see what happens when we press process. Now we get a bunch of score information which should coincide with where the hits are on the drum track. So we can now just shut down the sample editor and let's have a look at the MIDI here. Now as you can see the MIDI's translated here but unfortunately it's put some of the hits on a different pitch. This happens quite often. So the next thing we're going to do is just select all these drum hits Again, we can elastic band them all. Okay, that's all of our drum hits highlighted. And then we're going to open the event list, which is a shortcut of Apple Zero, or you can pick it up from under the Windows menu. Now, if you look at the event list, you can see we've got the value here. So most of the hits have come up on C3, one on D sharp there, one on E. Now, what we want to do is make these hits all of the same musical pitch. So if we hold down the Alt or Option key, it's called both. Um, so it's the key that has Alt or Option on it, depending on the age of your Apple keyboard, and the Shift key at the same time, and then drag the value. As you can see they've all now become B2. Now for our kick drums we actually want them all on C1. So I'm just going to drag that down until we get the value C1. Okay, there you go. Everything's on C1. So if we just go back to our MIDI window here and have a look we can see they're all now on the same pitch. The next thing we're going to do is use the velocity tool just to turn them all up relative to each other. Because we've got them all highlighted, what we're doing here is not changing the individual dynamics, we're just making everything louder relative. So we'll just grab the first one and turn that up. Okay, now we've got our loudest hits are in red, so near maximum velocity, and the quieter hits are coming up yellow, green, orange, which means we've maintained the dynamic of the original drum track. We can now shut down the piano roll and create a new track. Uh, for this track we need a software instrument and then what we're going to do is take this MIDI which has been overlaid over our original audio track and drag it down to our new instrument track. Okay we dragged both accidentally there. Just drag the audio back to where it was originally on, on the kick track and there's our MIDI. Now we're going to load up an EXS instrument that I made earlier. Uh, again on our website we've got some instructions showing you how to make your own EXS instrument. I've made these out of Stephen Slate drum samples, uh, which are specifically designed for sample augmenting or sample replacing. Uh, obviously, you can use any drum samples you've already got on your system or, or another VST or AU instrument. Let's load it up and see what we've got. So, SSD kick, that's our Stephen Slate drums kick. Okay, now let's solo that track, uh, which we do by clicking and hitting S. Uh, 
Okay, that's our super meaty new kick that we've just imported. And now we're going to turn down the level of that track relative to our original samples because all we're looking to do in this example is actually augment the hit that's already there. We don't want to replace the sound entirely. Okay, so this is our original recorded kick, which you can see on the top track there, and our sample, which is on the second track there, playing together. You can obviously adjust between the level of the two. Or if you just want to use the sample entirely, you can now mute the original audio track. As I say, what I'm looking for is a mix of the two, so I'm going to turn the sample down relative to the original, so we're getting the best of both worlds. We've still got our original audio, and then we've got the meatiness of the sample. Okay, let's have a listen to that in context. Just bring the hi-hats, the snare and the overhead back in. Just the sample, just the original, both together. And that's how you sample augment or sample replace just using the tools available in Logic.